Let's go, baby. We are back. Malice in the palace, holding my chalice. I got a callus in Dallas with a beach man, Alice. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Boone. I'll simmer down, boys, I promise. But we have a very exciting one today. We're gonna be taking a closer look at this palace lookbook that just came out yesterday. I won't lie to you guys, I have seen a couple items from this lookbook, and the few things I've seen have given me hope this is gonna be a good season, but we're honestly gonna just find out together. We're about to go take a look through this whole lookbook, uh, see what I think is gonna resell, just see items I like in general, and just overall assess the season. Let's get into this one, man. Drop a like if you guys do enjoy the video and just as always if you want more palace content I honestly want to make more palace videos this season cuz I like to do the live cops it's more fun than supreme and I know palace boys always like show a ton of love to those videos so I promise you guys more palace content coming and also I just want to throw out there I am gonna be doing weekly resale guides on browser for palace drops so if you guys want to get in on the action I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm kind of a rain man with the palace resale and if you guys don't believe me I guess you could use this free code to browser and sign up for a free week trial just to see for yourself if you enjoy the group. Let's get in the video though. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Please be a good season, bro. <laughs> Please. This last Ultimo season was so damn bodacious. I have high hopes, so let's find out. I'll see you guys in the video. Let's begin. So here we have it, man. The full lookbook is right in front of us, and we're just gonna dig on in. I, I will say this, I it might just be me, man, but I feel like this looks kind of small for a lookbook. It could just have been a while, but I don't know. Let's just hop into it. So, uh, jackets, obviously obviously is going to be one of the biggest resale items of this upcoming season. Palace always has like one or two jackets that just boom on the resale market. That free jacket you guys actually saw me get from Palace, I ended up selling for $320, man. Retail was like $200, and it actually sat on the website, so that should go to tell you, man. A lot of these jackets end up performing well. The first one we got, uh, oh my god, bro. They put a whole ass hat on this jacket. Now, I have to say, Supreme's kind of been doing this already with some TNF collabs. Um, this is funny and all. Um, I don't think it's going to be worth its retail because this is Gore-Tex and the Palace Gore-Tex jackets are a lot of money. I'll tell you that much. Um, this camo's eye, right, uh, but I actually don't think this is going to be a resale item. It's cool and all, but it, we've seen it before. Uh, moving on now, this is kind of different. We do have a built-in mask right here. Um, the actual jacket itself, I really am not liking. Um, like this material, I'm not a fan. Uh, I will say the mask is a pretty funny touch, but I don't think I'm gonna say this one's gonna resell. I don't think that jacket material is a hit. Now this is the first jacket that actually caught my eye and I'm a fan of this one man. I actually do enjoy it. Uh, it's something fresh, something we haven't seen before. I don't know about these colorways but I know they're gonna show me a black color. Bang there it is. Now this right here stamp of resell approval. This is gonna flip um, but let's keep moving. We got a lot of ways to go. This is again a jacket we've seen a billion times. A cargo jacket. This has got a trifurg on it. It's not bad. I actually do kind of enjoy this stone cut. Ooh, okay. Okay, you know, all right, you know, I actually kind of dig the stone color. Um, this I did not notice. That's actually pretty hard. I'll give that to you, uh, Palace. This is actually a pretty sick jacket. Uh, stone color, black color, definitely. I actually think the stone's better, to be honest. Might see me copping that, but uh, besides that, this was a miss. I'm not a fan of that. This Gatorade coach jacket, while it's funny, eh, it's not really the one, man. Palace Cooper, because <laughs> Alice. Yeah, no, so funny. Uh, it's cool. It's not bad or anything. Um, I will say a denim vest. <laughs> Uh, you're not gonna catch me in that, but uh, it's an adventurous pick for a clothing item. It's something different though, I'm not gonna knock it. Um, this knit, no, the cable knit, no, 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 no. Uh, ooh, okay, so they're bringing back the little animals on us. Now, I actually asked for them to bring these back a while ago. I loved this whole concept, the little pea animals. Uh, we got the giraffe. I will say, man, the giraffe on the yellow, I don't know if I'm vibing with it. Let's see these other colors, so, okay, this is my favorite so far. Um, the green is definitely a nice shade is that corduroy too okay palace okay i see you i see you uh I, dinosaur you lost me with the pink G. yeah not a bad item it's not gonna resell or anything like that a really good personal and i'm glad to see those animals back i gotta take a look at what this is um this is kind of horrific man i don't hate that that rose shit but the paneling no uh not gonna flip uh these pants are looking a little troubling. Hold on, let's take a look at the pants. These are Gore-Tex, so I don't even have to look at them. They're gonna be a thousand dollars. Um, these are pretty dull. What you really want with Palace pants is cargos, man. That's what the people want. Um, a lot of Palace cargos flip for a lot of money. Uh, and these are not it so far, Chief. Uh, these pants suck. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, man. 
I'm disappointed. We got some basic ass jeans and stuff. This is like the crazy all over print and no, uh, these are not the ones. So yeah, the pants are balls this season. They're sweaty balls. That's kind of disappointing. Uh, I do kind of like these shorts, man. Is that a little Prada kind of looking tag? These are actually pretty nice. And okay, these are an intro. I don't even know. I don't think these are going to flip to be honest, but those are some of the better, more inventive pants right there. Um, but this is another one I have seen already. Uh, some of you might be going crazy over this. I know some people just get a freaking hard on for this color blocking kind of shit. Personally, it's just a little too chaotic for me, especially adding in the fleece hood is like a lot. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about the triferg. I don't even think that was needed. Personally, I would have liked this more if they just scrapped the palace and just had the triferg. This looks a ton like a crew neck they already did. Palace is pretty smart when it comes to recreating items that have resold in the past. If you remember the patch crew neck that was extremely similar to this, it's one of the best reselling crew necks they've done in a while. That is why they did this design. I can promise you they pay a lot of attention to the resale market. Let's keep on moving. Um, a lot of hoodies I don't enjoy and this is an item I've seen already. Um, here comes the repeat designs. We've already seen a couple repeat designs. All I'm gonna say is if you guys have been watching me for a while, like the last couple of months, you've seen me pick up these hats already because yes, Palace has done this design, the Thunder design. It's cool, um, I, I enjoy it for sure, but it's like, I mean, they really one of one copied this thing and I don't know, man. I'm a little bit disappointed by it. It's such a weird, like, gray area re-releases of designs because it's like, I do enjoy this lightning design and I want other people to have the chance to buy it. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, we get it. You made a dope design like two years ago. We want new dope designs. We don't want just the same stuff over and over. Things like those animals, I want to see them bring those back. But um, I don't know. At the same time, when the new stuff you make is all kind of mid, it makes me not as hyped about the re-releases. Because so far, the re-release stuff is really the only stuff I'm enjoying besides this little down jacket. But here we have one of the Trifergs of the season. I'm not a huge Trifurg person, Wait even though a minute. It's like, don't ignore this. I don't really buy their theme Trifurgs too often. The rip design's definitely my favorite they've done in a while. I like this one. It's a little mock of four different Trifurgs. We got the Jobsworth, we have like the Jungle. This is a super old one. We have the Surf one, and then I actually, is this the Shower Curtain one? I can't even remember what this is, man. Um, but this is a cool idea. I don't exactly like love the four Trifurgs they chose, but I love the concept. I actually think it's really original and unique. So I'll give that to you, Palace. Um, this is actually a pretty cool one. You won't see me purchasing it. I do think that was a really cool trifer. So I will say, out of all the jackets and like, here we have a fly, I didn't look at this. Uh, not my favorite, man. So the jackets and pants, not too strong this season, unfortunately, man. Um, Ultimo, oh my God, that was a legendary moment for Palace. Um, that whole month of December, they were snapping. I'm definitely a bit let down from what we just had um, in terms of releases, but uh, the t-shirts that I'm seeing so far are not too bad. Um, we have this Palace D this one, um, because they did come out with a Stan Smith, that's pretty cool. Fly t-shirt, no, nobody wants that. Uh, the Palace Alice, decent, but not really gonna resell. Now this is a cool one, man. Um, I saw this on Max Merch's page already, a Bruce Springsteen little ode. Uh, I like this, man. This actually is pretty dope in my opinion. And I'll give it to you, the t-shirts are not, okay, like, as I'm complimenting the t-shirts, this is really bro. But yeah, like, things like this starter mock, like, I wish they put this on a hat or something, man. I actually do enjoy that a lot. Um, I don't think their t-shirts are too bad. Here we have the P-Cycle, Ben seen them. Uh, man, this reeks of horrible Tumblr edit. I can't. So this is a pretty funny one, basically a Triferg. How are the colors? Ooh, that pink's actually pretty nice. You would never catch me in it. Ooh, what? The navy, though. The navy shining on this. Okay, navy and the black. Okay, those are gonna flip. I'll give that to you, pals. Those are definitely gonna resell. So the t-shirts are actually pretty solid this season. Uh, usually, I feel like a lot of their t-shirts are just goofy and... I'm not a big fan of them, but a lot of these are actually pretty clean and wearable, so that's pretty good. Now we're taking a look at the hat section. This one caught my eye. I'm a huge fan of this hat. Uh, I don't know what it is, but the letters, if that's embroidered too, man, that is a bona fide cop. I really am a big fan. Don't know how I feel about that yellow snap, but I'm gonna need one of those. Bucket hat, uh, the bucket hats do flip sometimes. I'm not too positive on that one, um, but here we go. We got the P hats that they've now brought out for us every season. I have a bunch of these already that 
that are obviously still DS, but um, yeah, they've started to do these P caps that are direct mocks of the S cap from Supreme. Um, they used to do these way back in the day, but they're really starting to do them a lot again. Um, this brown is gorgeous. All of these are gonna resell. I was telling y'all to cop as many of these as you could, and they've really done well on the market. So hopefully you took that advice. Definitely solid, but nothing too crazy. Um, we got, that's crazy hat, chaotic. This rose design, I'm actually a pretty big fan of. I've liked that a lot so far. Ooh, Palasonic hat, please don't be mid. Please don't be mid, give me another color. Oh, dude, what are these stripes? Like, why did we have to do the stripes? I love the Palasonic design. It's something they've been making forever, but um, that hat is not it. Now here we go, man, now, this is the good stuff, baby. We got some animal caps. Uh, I'm so happy they made these. Now, this is the type of stuff where I'm like, I'm you, you are not gonna hear a word of complaint from me about re-releasing these on the hats. This is a re-release done correctly, man. These are solid as hell. Um, all the colors they chose, I love. Okay, except for this white. I don't know why they kept putting this bird on white. Um, oh, the, they put the dinosaur on the black, man. These are fire. You killed it on these, Palace. I'm gonna give that to you, man. Those are super nice. These are all gonna resell. Basically, a cord six. Oh, these are, again, these are 100% gonna flip. I actually bought um, the washed out version of this hat, and they are going for like 100 bucks. So don't sleep, man. Palace predictions, but these are definitely gonna flip. A lot of brown this season, it looks like. Uh, they've been paying attention in the Travis Scott hype, I suppose, which is pretty smart because all these brown colorways are going to fly, man. These hats, without a doubt, are going to resell. So, yeah, the hat section's looking pretty strong. We got some bean, not too many beanies this season. I don't know about these. I feel like these are a little too chaotic. Um, this lightning beanie probably, again, bro, the brown colors all over the place. Uh, I actually kind of wish they put the palace here and had the lightning on this back part. I feel like that would have been way sicker, but this is not a bad one either. Um, I'm guessing embroidered. These are really nice beanies, man. These are without a doubt. Oh my Jesus Christ. We're oh. The pink on gray, man, I wasn't ready. That is so fucking hard. They did a good job on these, honestly. I wasn't too crazy about the hoodies, but those beanies are nice. Uh, even these are kind of cool. I don't even hate those either. Peace Cycle Beanie, a little mid. These are kind of mid, to be honest. So, uh, no patch beanie. No beanie with just a normal triferg this season. Basically, a beanie, these are gonna flip. Yeah, these are all gonna flip without a doubt. So, actually, really good hats this season. So, shout out to you for that, Palace. Here we have the Stan Smiths. I hate them. Uh, I'm a Stan Smith dude. Big ass sour on my Smith. Myths. Shout out that boy Uzi. If you guys have watched me for like since 2017, you know I used to have these hoes with the straps like no other. Now these colors are not not speaking to me, man. They're just too much going on. And to be honest, the whole Raph Simmons stands shit is kind of dead at this point. Like it's been going for so long. It's still a clean shoe, don't get me wrong, but it's not my favorite. Is this the only color? I would imagine they have one other color. Wait, 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 wait. The back sides are kind of clean, but I don't know. The colorways are so random, man. Like, these are so weird. Mm, yeah, I'm not going to be copping a pair, unfortunately. Here we go, though. So, uh, way less bags than we usually get. I think Palace has finally caught on to the fact that, like, all of their bags sit. Like, lately, every Palace bag has been sitting. So, we're seeing way less Palace bags than usual. Like, I'm telling you guys, Palace is very in tune with the stuff that resells. And they have taken note that all their bags stay sitting. So, uh, this is probably the smallest amount that they've ever done. Um, I don't really love them too much. This little mini bag's not bad. Let's go into the accessories though. This is the home stretch. There's some good potential here, man. Um, sometimes these accessories can go for ridiculous prices. So to start us off, we have a literal Coke spoon. Um, no, I like so a waste of an accessory. Next up, we got a towel. No, it's funny, but no. A try for a gas tray that is an exact replica of a ashtray they already made and I honestly don't think this one's as nice of a color yawn um, they've been doing a ton of ashtrays lately because they've been reselling I'm telling you guys uh, plazo mug like how do you go from this just fucking insanity to that bro like I'm, I guess I'll probably still buy one of the plazo ones because I'm a fucking simp but um, I'm not gonna be happy about it. I'm gonna bitch the whole way through because this is pretty fucking like what is this design, bro? I'm sorry. Sorry shout out to Italy, but like come on. Uh, Peace like a water bottle kind of clean. It's not gonna resell. It's kind of clean though. 
Now these are needed in the crib. I actually like was just talking to my homie about we need some slip mat. We need some motherfucking coasters in this hoe, man. I don't want to see no water stains from that cup on my table. So this is an essential. They've done better slip mats in the past, but I'm not even mad. These are nice, man. I definitely want to get some. These are hard. This lightning keychain, fine. I love this lightning design. Like I'm never going to complain about it. Uh, Triford pin badge, pretty basic. Now this right here caught my eye, man. We got the air freshener in rose. Um, I wish they did more stuff with this design. I don't think they did just like a basic t-shirt with it or a hat. Um, Cause I think those would have done well. A knit sweater maybe? Like I feel like that could have done really well. Kind of similar to like the Yoji one. Um, but no, the air freshener I'm not mad about. This is really nice. But again, they did just make air fresheners like a season or two ago. So I'm pretty disappointed. There's legit just no unique accessories in this lookbook besides the spoon that nobody wanted a spoon man if you wanted a fucking spoon from this season you got fucking mental issues like i don't know what's going on in your head this season is kind of mid man um i am pretty fucking devastated what blows my universe ultimo season accessories were the best i've ever seen them from fucking palace like them shits were exorbitant i i gotta calm down i'm almost sick right. highly like that was too crazy of accessories and for them to go from that to this i'm just like huh like I, I don't get it, man. I feel like they lost a lot of momentum they built up with Ultimo with this season. Um, the accessories are a step back. Obviously, we're going to see collabs later on, so I'm sure there will be some bangers. I'm not mad about them doing Stan Smith. That's pretty cool. But Palace Adidas collabs are still down terrible. Like, these are not that clean, in my opinion. Um, the hats really are the saving grace of this season there's some really good hats there's some pretty solid t-shirt that there's no pants to be had this season the jackets aren't too bad uh i'm definitely being kind of a downer on them but if you have followed palace for multiple seasons you've seen all of these jackets already so it's really nothing too special or new um this right here is devastating man look at this cardigan like who fucking said yeah that's a good one bro like what the f you lost me on heat like no bro never um so overall i'd give this season a solid five i think i gave last season like a four um not ultimo but the season before that so i there's a step up from that i guess but um man i'm, a, I'm definitely disappointed bro uh there's not as much resell as i was hoping there would be in this season and definitely no personals man like i don't just resell this shit i got plenty of palace in the personal not seeing too much stuff i'm gonna keep this season but hey shout out to everyone that watched if you did make it through you know what man fuck it i owe you guys another browser code feel free to go join the group um just gotta use this code browser.com slash dashboard i hope you guys enjoyed though again if you want more palace content drop a like maybe leave a comment of like some stuff i might have missed i'm sure i missed some item what your favorite items are and just if you think it's a good season overall there are a couple items that catch my attention and i enjoy but as a whole i was expecting more i felt like ultimo season was like one of their best seasons ever and i don't know i'm just a little bit disappointed maybe my expectations were too high but i'll see y'all later it's been your boy boone supreme leaks video on the way as well as that unboxing i promise you guys i'll see y'all later though it's been your boy boone. i'm out Peace.